All right, how's it going, y'all? Today, we're going over the three different ways you can back up a Mac to a Synology NAS. Active Backup for Mac OS, Time Machine, and Synology Drive. And all three of them have different pros and cons depending on what you're looking for. Active Backup for Business is a Synology package that they fully build out, and it is third-party software you install on your Mac and it will back up and it can back up remotely as well as do deduplication and other really useful things when you're managing a lot of computers. But its biggest drawback is the difficulty in installing it. And I wouldn't say it's nearly as stable, rock solid steady as Time Machine is. So Time Machine is the second option for backing up your Mac. And it is also that bare metal backup which means you can use it to fully restore your computer if you need to. So Time Machine is the other bare metal backup. Bare metal means that the entire computer is backed up, all the settings, everything. And that means that you can use either Active Backup for Business or Time Machine to fully restore your computer exactly as it was. Time Machine has been with Mac OS as a free software for the last 20 years. And especially when Mac OS first came out and Time Machine first came out, it was the reason a lot of people bought a Mac. So Mac OS Time Machine can be used directly through the Mac OS settings window, no third party software installed, it's all Apple, to back up to an SMB share. And I've got tutorials for all of this down in the description below. And honestly, it is a easy rock solid thing to recommend. It is slow and it's hard to restore files remotely, but it is dependable, just easy in the background. Now, our third option that we're gonna be talking about is using Synology Drive. So Synology Drive has a file backup option. It is not that bare metal backup, so you cannot use the Synology Drive backup to restore your entire computer, all the settings exactly as they were, but it also works really well remotely, is really easy to set up, and a huge advantage of it is you can easily browse the files on the NAS and be able to even just copy them to another computer if you need to. For example, say you've backed up your downloads folder with Synology Drive and you're at the doctor's office and they say, hey, do you have that form? And it's in your downloads folder on your computer. You could literally from your phone app, pull up that file, the backed up file and have it right there. That's that real advantage of using Synology Drive file backup because it just has that really ease of use for people who don't need that full bare metal backup. But first, I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, our web developer, Visagio & Co. If you remember about a year ago, Space Rex went through a massive rebrand. We got new logos, new website, and we spun off the Yarbrough Technologies as the consulting arm. This was all done through Matt and his team. We met with them often to go over what we thought would be best, and they really helped us build an entire business plan and really think through the pros and cons to every single one of our decisions, all while also building us out logos, new colors, new fonts, and an entire website. I cannot recommend them enough, and I think their work absolutely speaks for itself. So if you're ready to take your business to the next level, check out Visaggio & Co in the link in the description. They have web development packages starting from just getting started all the way up into high-end projects, marketing, and entire rebranding. So check out Visaggio & Co in the link in the description and thanks for sponsoring today's video. All right, so those are our three different options. And I'll be completely honest with you, the majority of the time, I am deploying either Time Machine or Synology Drive. So Synology Active Backup for Business for Mac OS came out about three years ago now. And it was something that a lot of people were waiting on, including me, because Synology has had Active Backup for Business for Windows for forever. And it's been a phenomenal feature for Windows, especially for offices needing to back up dozens of computers. The really easy license-free backups and that deduplication has been awesome and it works great. And I was very excited for it for Mac OS. But the problem is Mac OS is a very locked down ecosystem. They are very strict with security. And because of that, creating full bare metal backup software for it proved to be incredibly difficult. And my biggest qualm with Active Backup for Mac OS is it is incredibly hard to install. And because of that, it's just hard to recommend for regular users. For offices who have everything fully configured and already have a full setup process for laptops that are being deployed, 
you're probably not even deploying Mac OS's, but for those who do, it's a great option. If you're doing dozens of them, it's not that big of a deal. You just go through the process and it will work. But installing Active Backup for Mac OS for only a few devices is very labor intensive. I've got a video showing how to do it. I'll leave a link down in the description below to that. But what you have to do is you have to reboot and go into your actual recovery option to actually enable the system extensions. It's the equivalent of going into BIOS on Windows just to set up this backup option. And so this really lengthy setup process makes it hard for me to recommend for regular people just because it's not got that much of an advantage over the built-in time-tested Apple Time Machine. So the one time that I will recommend active backup or business over Time Machine specifically comes down to global latency and remote backups. Let's say you have to have backups and the computers are just not in the office, but they're always connected over an open VPN connection. Sure, you can set up Time Machine over a VPN connection, but because of the way Time Machine works, it can take hours to do a single backup where nothing has changed. An initial backup over a VPN is almost impossible. It is just so slow, and that is where Active Backup for Mac OS comes in and is really great. If you're going to put in the time to set it up, it works really well and has very fast throughput for remote Macs. Another advantage of it is the ability for an administrator to sit down and see all the files on all the computers, which you do not get with Time Machine. So in general, I recommend Time Machine over Active Backup or Mac OS, mostly due to the setup time, as well as just the overall complexity and the fact that Time Machine is just so much more time tested. And so those are my thoughts on Active Backup for Mac OS. It works well if you're going to put in the time, but most of the time it makes more sense to use Time Machine. Switching over to Time Machine. Time Machine has existed for pretty much as long as Mac OS at this point. And it has the ability to back up to a NAS via an SMB share that is honestly really easy to set up if you're doing under five computers. I've got tutorials on it. You just go ahead and you set up a new SMB share for every single one of them. And you just set it on up and it pretty much just works. It will either back up hourly or daily and all of them are Delta backups and it manages its own space. So when you start running low on space, it automatically cleans up its own versions and it just does it all for you. You kind of just set it up and it just keeps working for the most part. Then you have the ability to, through the computer you're backing up, go back through and you can click Browse Time Machine Backups right here. And you can see all of your Time Machine backups throughout as long as you've got. And you can go back in time and just see exactly what your files look like in all of your folders in a pretty nifty interface. One big downside of Time Machine though is it is slow. So Time Machine is pretty slow to restore and back up unless you've got really good caching. So if you are using Time Machine, having that read-write SSD cache with BTRFS pinned metadata can significantly speed up that process as well as wired 10 gigabit connections. But with all that, Time Machine is great because you're also not really vendor locked. The downside of it is the portability. Time Machine uses a thing called a sparse bundle which makes it very hard to move around and back up. It's really hard to back up a time machine destination and test the resource functionality because you don't really have the ability to just browse the files unless you go in and actually do a full restore and reconnect it. The other thing is time machine, as I talked about earlier, is really, really, really slow with remote backups. It works pretty quickly over a local network but as soon as you introduce additional latency over the internet, it slows to a crawl. And so Time Machine's biggest drawback is the lack of deduplication between multiple computers and the fact that you pretty much have to be backing up to a local NAS if you're going to be able to set up routine backups. All right, so now our third option is very different from the first two, but is really useful in specific times and that is the simple Synology Drive file level backup. Synology Drive mostly is used for syncing folders, 
but it also has the ability to really easily set up a folder level backup where all you have to do is just check, check, check which folders you would like to back up and how often. Then what Synology Drive will do is it'll just scan those folders on whatever schedule you've set it to and anything that's changed will be copied to the NAS one for one. You can get versions through it through snapshots and it makes it really easy to restore. So with both Time Machine and Active Backup for Mac OS, you don't have an easy way of just grabbing one-off files without having to go through DSM and dealing with a bunch of stuff. With Synology Drive, because it's that file level backup, you do. It is just copying the files from one device to the other. And so if you need to grab a quick copy of that thing in your downloads folder, it's as simple as browsing any of the other files on your NAS. And that's one of Synology Drive's biggest advantages, as well as the fact that a lot of the time, you don't need to back up your entire computer. You really just need to back up your files for a lot of people. The other thing is Synology Drive has an incredibly easy remote backup option. If you need to back up your kids' computers because they're at college or remote employees' computers, it is so easy to set up and it is really streamlined and has pretty good performance, especially compared to the other two options to just back up those specific files and folders you need. And that is why Synology Drive has a really solid backup option, even though it can't be used to fully restore your computer, just restoring specific files and folders. All right, well, those are our three options. It really depends on what you're looking for and how much time you wanna put into it. In general, Time Machine is easy to recommend if you need a bare metal backup of a few computers around the office or house. But if you're really looking for a larger deployment and want to put in the time, Active Backup for macOS has some really nice features like that global file deduplication between different computers. And then finally, if you've got that remote setup or just need a few specific folders on everybody's computers, then using Synology Drive is really easy because you don't have to back up everything it's quick and easy to install, and the files are just so transparent because it doesn't have to back up the entire file system, just the folders and files you care about. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have any other questions, put those down in the comments below. And if you want to hire me, there's a link for that down in the description below. And have a good one. Bye.